although we do lots of our sowing in spring, there is some sowing that we could do in the summer months as well, and particularly things like herbaceous perennials, and more importantly, things like these um, hardy biennial plants, these foxgloves. Now, foxgloves tend to germinate as soon as they have been shed from the plants. So they like to germinate when they're fresh. Uh, they can survive for a few years in the ground as well, but they do really well if they're sown fresh um, as soon as they're ripe. Uh, and they also germinate when they haven't been covered with a layer of fallen leaves. So that means sowing them in the summer as soon as the plants are finished and as soon as the seed is ripened. And then if you think about it, if they don't get covered with a layer of leaves, that means that they don't need to be covered with a layer of compost when you sow them. So they are sown on the surface of the compost and left uncovered to germinate there. So this is a really good time, the summer months, to get them sown. You could sow them into a plastic flower pot um, I'm trying to avoid using plastic. This is an old one that I've got from some plants that I bought some time ago. It will wash and reuse, but to be honest, you're better off using a terracotta flower pot like this one, uh, a standard terracotta flower pot. Uh, this is a seed pan terracotta flower pot, which means that it's slightly shorter and quite wide in the neck. Uh, and the reason that I would choose to sow into this sort of pot is that the terracotta will actually wick away or pull away some of the excess moisture from the seeds uh, which will help them germinate. So you can water it really regularly and the excess will be taken away without the plants becoming water or without the seeds becoming waterlogged. So I'm going to use a peat free compost to fill this pot. This is quite dry at the moment, um, so worthwhile thinking about adding some extra drainage material. I've got some perlite in here that I used for some more seeds earlier in the season. Uh, you could equally well put grit, coarse horticultural grit, into this compost to make it a little bit heavier. Uh, so overfill the pot, use your hand just to strike off the excess from side to side, uh, and then tap the sides of the pot and then three sharp taps onto the surface of the bench just to settle that compost down uh, and then we're ready to sow our seeds it couldn't be easier now these are foxglove excelsior mix and i'm going to write the label first again in an attempt to try and avoid using plastic i'm using these uh, aluminium tin labels here uh, right from the top of the label first digitalis Excelsior mix and then on the other side write the date that you're sowing them. Now the reason that you write at the top of the label is so that when you push that label into the compost you can still see the top of the label so that you know what you've sown in that pot without having to fish the label out uh, to be able to see what you've done. So these seeds, they're in a, an outer packet uh, and then they're also in an inner foil packet, generally speaking. It gives you all the details about sowing them on the back of the packets. Here's the inner foil packet here. Tap the seeds down from the top. You'll find that foxgloves in particular are very, very fine seeds. Open up the foil um, and then you can be quite generous with these. There's probably a lot of seeds in this packet, but you can see they're like dust, they're very, very tiny indeed. So really worth tipping out about half of the packet of seeds, folding over the foil so that the others don't drop out, and then taking a little pinch, wriggle your thumb and forefinger together and sow those seeds over the surface of the compost. And as I say, these are surface sown, they're not covered within a compost. Tap the sides of the compost uh, and then use a hand sprayer or a mister just to mist that compost, just to moisten it. Alternatively, stand this into a bucket of water up to almost the rim of the pot, just so that the moisture creeps up through the pot and through the compost. Leave it in there for about half an hour to thoroughly soak that compost through and that should give you enough water to get those germinated. Pop the pot outside into a slightly shady spot in a corner of the garden 
somewhere where you will see them regularly but you can more or less forget about them just check them periodically uh, and give them a little bit more water or stand the pot back in that bucket of water probably every 10 to 14 days just to make sure that the compost is re-wetted and you should find that those seeds germinate in around about four weeks or so you'll get little seedling plants leave them to grow on a bit bigger prick them out into individual containers or pots grow them on this year ready to plant out next year uh, and you'll grow some new foxgloves.